What's up, peeps? It's Josh. Um, I wanted to make a note from the universe, and first and foremost, if you just saw the video that Maggie and I posted earlier today, awesome. And if you didn't, you might want to go check it out, because it explains why I'm in a different setting. Um, and part of what I'm about to reference, because I just opened the note from the universe from just like 17 hours ago, and it's so relevant, it's not even funny. So I have to read it for you, and uh, I know it's been a while since I recorded. The other video kind of explains why, so it'll make more sense if you go watch that one first, but it's hella long, so you might not want to watch all of it. May the pug be with you, though. Probably the only ones that are going to watch it in all of its entirety are my sisters. Let's be real. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, okay, so the note from Lynn the... Lynn will probably watch it. Who? Lynn. Oh, Lynn, yeah. I've missed her. Lynn, if you're still watching, how are you? Leave it in the comments or Facebook us or whatever. Um... The note from the universe for today, which is December 7th, 2016, is... And if you don't know what the note from the universe is, it's tut.com. T is in Thomas, U, T is in Thomas, dot com. It's um, little inspirational emails that you get Monday through Friday from Mike Dooley. And uh, you can sign up for him at his website, completely free and totally worth it. If you haven't done so. mine always comes at 2 o'clock in the morning. Mine do too. I'm not yeah, really sure. Mine comes at one and mine comes at two. It's really weird. Well, yeah, but does your phone say the right time for Montana yet? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. They all come out at the same time usually. I get yours always at one and mine always at two. That's strange. You're a strange little girl. Mm-hmm. Wait, you get yours at two and mine at one? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm an OG, so. Bye bye. <laughs> all right, so um, here goes. Just do it, peeps. Everything you need to know, you know. And everything you need to have, you have. Everything. Time and space is a primitive school. There are bigger challenges out there, bigger adventures, and lots more friends. But you gotta do what you gotta do, here and now. You gotta live the truths you've discovered, apply the principles, and never again think, why isn't it working? It's hard. I don't know. Because such thoughts are like hitting the replay button for whatever you've just been through. Look ahead with your dreams in mind and give thanks because you know exactly what to do. Tally ho. Whew, peeps. Feel better? So this couldn't apply any more to my current life and I think possibly... I made it happen. And I think possibly Maggie's too. Um, although I, I'm always leery to speak for her. See, I was good to get that salt, huh? I made it happen. You made what happen? You get the call. Do you want to be on cam? No. <laughs> You're wearing a Kalamazoo shirt. Don't put me on that camera. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> She's violent. <laughs> Do you want help? No. Okay. Because you could come over in front of the camera and I could help you. No. <laughs> okay, so a couple of things. Sorry, I know we're all over the place. I'm not really sorry, though, because if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you already kind of know what it is, and you know I'm rambly, and you're probably, you probably don't give a crap. You watch the video until you watch it, and we're all good with that. Um, it's so easy to think, I don't know how to do this. I'm not sure. Why isn't this working? This sucks. It's so hard. It's, those are literally thoughts that I've had in the past couple of weeks. Um... We moved out of our apartment in in, in California. Um, actually, those are thoughts that I've been having for the past less than a year. A year, basically. Um, it's, it's crazy because I know that the law of attraction works. Um, but I'm always still like, oh, when I see it in action, like for example, um, I got, when we were in Havasu, I got Maggie and um, Lauren, I got them gratitude journals. Just cheap little ones from the dollar store and a gratitude pen. Just something cute because they were talking about it. And Maggie started using hers. I'm not going to tell you I what she put in I'm not going to tell you what she put in it because I don't know myself. But for the first visible time in 
you know, my history with her, I saw her leveraging the universe. And as with many people that get used to the law of attraction and utilizing it and changing their thoughts in order to change their life situation, their things, their their mind, she moved very quickly from, this took me a lot longer than it took her, but she moved quickly from needing to write it down because that's the whole point of a, of a gratitude journal. It's like training wheels for the law of attraction. Okay, you start with a gratitude journal and you make a cognitive effort to write down, I'm already grateful that this is in my life because that puts you in the situation that you're trying to attract, which is always powerful. I literally saw her in a matter of a couple of weeks go from, oh, I should put that in my gratitude journal. She goes, gets the gratitude journal, writes stuff down, makes a cognitive effort to like, literally it was less than a couple of weeks later where she turned to me and she was like, babe, watch what you're saying because thoughts become things and like your words have power. And I was like, well, my first reaction was, who the f are you telling? I'm the one that, duh. And that was ego, of course. But also there was pride because, wow, how cool to have someone in my life that doesn't make fun of me for wanting to talk about the law of attraction and wanting to leverage the universe because I believe that this works. So, and so when I saw her go to like where she was using her thoughts and not needing the notebook, I think we get, did we get rid of your notebook or did you bring it? Or is it with mom's stuff? I'm not sure. But like, you want to not needing it very quickly, way quicker than I did. I was really hella impressed, but I didn't say it because a lot of times when I say something to her like that, she'll just be like, then it becomes like a weird thing and I didn't want her to feel like I was like, oh, I think I'm teaching you something, because I don't. I just think it's amazing that she saw the value in it as well. Um, it's, you know, that's a big deal. So, that's one thing, okay? And lately with um, with this new endeavor, the trucking. And again, if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, go watch the other video or at least the beginning part of it and you'll get the gist. Because nobody expects you to sit and watch a 30 some odd minute video. We were just talking and for me, vlogging is cathartic. And in 20, no, 19 days, I'm getting ready to go into training. And then I'm going to be on a truck with a trainer. And I won't be able to vlog. I won't be able to be on the phone. I won't be able to do much of anything except work. And that's going to be stressful for me. But also, it'll be, because I'm an introvert, it, it's going to be weird. And also, I won't have Marvin or Maggie for like five months, which both of them are like, warming, comforting security blankets to me now. So that's going to be hard. So I'm kind of thinking about all of this and being like, wow, this is going to be tough. But when this, when I read this note, like literally like maybe like two minutes ago, I was like, wow, I'm so scared about like getting behind the wheel of this huge truck and driving. I'm so nervous that I'm going to completely mess it up. And I mean, for any of you that are contemplating it, don't let me voicing my fears discourage you because on the other foot, I totally believe that I can do this. I, I have full confidence that I'm going to give it my everything. And if I don't succeed, it's because it wasn't meant to be. However, I really want it to be, I really want it to work and I really want it to happen. But I know it's not gonna be easy and I know it's gonna be scary. She keeps walking by and looking at the camera. Have you ever had, have you ever tried to vlog with someone like watching and listening the entire time? It changes the process a little. <laughs> but. Why do you think my interview was so hard? Really? Oh, I guess that would have been hard. I guess that would have been. And I was trying to be all professional and shit. Uh, what? What you trying to say? My vlogs ain't professional, yo? No. Damn, Daniel. So. I completely lost my train of thought. So essentially what I'm trying to do is prepare the way. Make room in my life for the trucking to take place. Um, tomorrow. What? I wish we did for moving. Do you want to be a part of the vlog or? No. <laughs> no, I don't care. I'm just teasing you. 
I actually, I actually don't mind that you're chiming in, but I also like to tease you. So, rude. rude. That's what she, she's just rude. <laughs> um, so I'm, I just cleared off all the space on my, on my phone. Um, and it's an iPhone. And with the newest update, it was kind of a bear because I couldn't just move my photos easily. If you know what I'm talking about. It was ridiculous. But I know that I'm going to want to be able to take pictures when I'm on the road and send them to Maggie. And I had, like, no space on my phone. So I'm making room. Um, I'm getting my external hard drive and my laptop situated so that I have them ready on the road. I'm going to start packing my duffel bag probably tomorrow because there's only so much that I'm going to need to have access to until I go. And I want my duffel bag packed and, like, ready to go because... <laughs> What kind of, I mean, but only, you know, no, because I'm not shooting a watermelon out of my body. That's, you know, don't put me down for that. Would you like help, love? No. We've got the thing that we stole from Lisa. It's, it's in the bottom right there. It's the white thing. I know. Oh, you bad. You don't need no help. You don't need no man to help you off of your phone. What? Kelly Clarkson. Anyway, so I've been scared, right? Because. Do you think it's wise to just have knives randomly in here? I told you they were in there. But still. I told you that. Well, we're, you would have them in the knife drawer and at home. Yeah, but they were in a thing, so they didn't just shoot up at you. That didn't shoot up. I saw no shooting up. It almost stabbed me. It did. Yeah. I think you're. No, I don't think it almost stabbed you. Yeah, it did. Uh, I mean, what do you know? What do I know, Charlie Brown? <laughs> Literally, sometimes she talks and it sounds like a Charlie Brown character. Like the wah, wah, wah? No, like the, um, what's his sister's name? Don't put me name? down for being a teacher. <laughs> I didn't put, calm down, Peppermint Patty. <laughs> Are you saying I'm a lesbian? <laughs> You're not, not a lesbian. <laughs> Done with you. No, you're not. Is <laughs> that didn't call you Marcy? I thought Peppermint Patty was a lesbian. She is, but Marcy's totally her little side piece. Oh. Don't you think? Yeah. You want to spill that cider everywhere? No, I'm not. Mm. Hey, do your video. You're hijacking this. That time when Maggie hijacked the video. She's waving like <laughs> no, obnoxious. You have to face. Why is it on your chin though? <gasps> You've never seen the little rascals? Of course I've seen the oh. <laughs> I'm a he man woman hater. Not really, but you know. You don't hate women, fool. No. Okay. So uh essentially I've been freaking out because the way that it works is um, on December 26th, early in the morning, I'm going to be at the offices at the company. I'm not going to say the name and fuck it up because I did before when we were trying to do the log. We're not announcing the name yet until I'm in in. And once I'm actually an employee, then I'll start talking about the name of the company because I don't, I don't want to do anything that would disqualify me from joining said company because I don't know. I mean, I don't know how that works and whatnot. So I'm playing it safe a little bit. So when I first go there, I'm signing paperwork, yada, yada, onboarding or something. And then this day, no, day number two, you like get your CDL permit, which not for nothing, but like it's a test. It's a test and they're going to pay for me to go and take this test and they expect me to pass. So I'm studying and trying to prepare. But in my head, I've been saying, I have such a bad memory, like this requires a lot of remembering things and I'm not particularly fantastic at remembering things and that's a concern. But to be honest, when I went to get my um, 
original driver's license and then when I got it again in California because I had to take a test again in California because they special though I don't know in Michigan I didn't need to take a test but apparently in California I had to take a test and I passed both of them first time but it's I I always get really nervous before tests I just always do I always have but I'm just gonna study and do my best and try to stop freaking out about it because that's not going to help me. So this note was kind of perfect. And after the, after the first like three days that, or after the first, what was it? Three weeks, three weeks. You're like driving around the yard and stuff after three, isn't it after like three weeks you go on the truck with the trainer? No, it's after like a week after like a week I keep forgetting because I'm so nervous about it that I can't keep it in my head so I feel like after the three days huh it might be after the three days you don't have your CDL in three days though I know that much right you can drive with a permit I know but like when do you actually get your CDL in three weeks I think and I think after three weeks then you get your CDL but for the CDL it's kind of crazy because it's a big deal. Um, there's this pre-trip inspection and I've been freaking out because you have to remember all of these things. And it's just daunting for me because I have this belief system that I'm stupid. And that's why I didn't go to college. And You did totally fine on your test when you were in California. I did, but like that's not on this level. Like this is a whole different level. You'll so like, fine. You're smart. I'm worried about it, and I've been in my head. There's been a lot of negative talk, and I think a lot. I'm I've always been an analyzer and in my head a lot, and so the note today was perfect because it reminded me. The more and more I let those negative thoughts take hold, and for any of you that do the same thing, the cool thing about the thoughts become things and levering leveraging the universe and uh, the power of positive thoughts and the law of attraction is. Um, there's a natural level of energy or power that your thoughts have. Um, obviously a lot of us have negative thoughts and if you're freaking out because you're like, oh, I have all these negative thoughts and this sucks because I can't stop and, and even that's a negative thought so it's negative and negative and you're almost, you know, like trying to keep your head above water. The one really cool thing that you can use is visualization. You can also use a gratitude journal. A gratitude journal or visualization, same. What you're doing is you're taking a set part of your day and you're not really meditating because meditating is clearing your brain of thoughts, which is real hard for people. Well, that's what people think meditating is. That's not actually what it is, but whatever, that's besides the point. You're taking maybe five minutes of your day and you're sitting there and whatever it is you want to attract, you're sitting there and you're closing your eyes or you're zoning out on something where you can be thinking in your head. Maybe you're cross-stitching, but in your head you're visualizing because I used to do that. Um, Yes, I cross-stitch. Don't judge me. And if you do, I don't care because I love it. Um, You're thinking in your head. You're putting yourself in the situation. So, for example, me. I'm trying to attract my CDO and having Maggie and Marvin on the truck. Okay, so if that's what I want, I'm going to close my eyes or in my head, I'm going to see myself with my hands on the wheel, driving my truck, looking over, seeing Maggie in the passenger seat, looking down, Marvie's there. I don't look down for too long because I'm driving though. And I'm driving and, and I'm making good money. Maggie opens the laptop and she's checking our bank account and there's thousands of dollars in there and I'm so grateful. And I, I, I feel it so, and I see myself and I, I feel all of it so much that it gives me goosebumps. That. So when you do that, all of your negative thoughts, they're like pennies. But when you have a visualization like that that's so in-depth and so, so, so tangible, even though it's just in your mind, you can feel it. You can feel the excitement. You can feel the smile on your face in that, in that situation. You can smell the new truck scent or whatever. Um, that's worth thousands. 
So to put it on that scale, negative thoughts are pennies, visualization is thousands. And your gratitude journal works the same way. Maybe you're not a visual person, maybe you can't close your eyes and paint a picture like that, but maybe you can write one because maybe you, you're you better at writing. Or maybe you can speak it, maybe you can sit down and talk and say this is what I'm doing and this and this and this and you might not be seeing it but you're focused on it. And that intensifies the energy somehow. There's people that can explain this better, but I'm not one of those people. So I just explain it how I can. But that's really the difference between, and so all of your thousands of pennies from your visualization or your gratitude journal, they they not only negate your negative thoughts, but they, they way overcompensate for them so that you then have a surplus of energy drawing you towards what you want. And it's really... I know that there's plenty of people that say something works. Most of them are on QVC. And you may not want to, you know what I mean? Like, anybody can say it works. I've used this for years. And with this, it's not like QVC. Like, oh, I paid $80 for this thing and it's crap and it doesn't work. You've actually got nothing to lose. QVC is a shit. You've actually got nothing to lose with this. This isn't costing you anything but five minutes of your time. So I urge you to think about it. I urge you to get the notes from the universe because they will at least give your brain food for thought. And, you know, I'm still, it's not like I'm like a guru and I'm like, oh, it's so easy. Just do this, this, and this. I struggle, you guys. I struggled even earlier today um, and, and even like 20 minutes ago. But it's, this helps me. Talking about it helps me be more cognitive about my own thoughts and about focusing on what I want to focus on so you guys help me just by letting me post these videos even if you don't watch them but at any rate I'm gonna end this because it's probably hella long you know rambles like I do but I hope that you guys are good I hope that you're safe um Christmas is coming y'all or your holidays or whatever you do celebrate or don't um it's a beautiful time of the year and I hope that you guys are with loved ones and that you're warm and safe and I will uh, talk to you guys hopefully tomorrow. I'm going to try and vlog until I leave. So we'll see how that goes because I've tried that before. So It's 7 degrees outside. It's 7 degrees outside here in Montana. Yep. But it is beautiful. So. Mm -hmm. It's going to snow again. It's going to. We're going to get more snow. Anything else you want to add? Much love. Peep out.